Hello. Today I'm working on a Dell Inspiron. This is a Dell Inspiron 5570. This computer is just very slow. It recently was upgraded to Windows 11 and when I used it, after a long time it seemed okay. Once the hard drive was 100% caught up, it was fine. But whenever the hard drive would go off to do something, whenever a Windows update was checking something or if the hard drive was in use, it then became incredibly slow to do anything else. So if you try to open Microsoft Word while Windows Update is using the hard drive, it would take, you know, 30 seconds to open Microsoft Word. So uh, it looks, it's showing all the signs that it needs uh, a hard drive upgrade or SSD upgrade. So I'm going to attempt that. I'm going to clone the hard drive onto a new SSD and pop it in and see if that solves the performance issue. So here we go. I'm going to remove this dongle. Just looking for any hidden screws. There's a staple through the speaker here, actually. That may have damaged the speaker, I'm not sure. Ooh, yeah, it was wedged. Just being gentle. There we go. All right, we've got screws of differing lengths. This screw here is significantly shorter than the others. It's also smaller in diameter, so you wouldn't be able to confuse them. These three screws didn't come out of the case. They appear to be captive screws. Let's see if that's true here in a moment. So this seems to open similar to a lot of the HPs where you can slip in here, go down a little bit. So then I'll use a plastic tool for the rest of it for as much as I can. Okay, that went smoothly. Oh, very good. Mm, looks pretty clean in here. There's a one broken bit of plastic on the bottom here. I wonder if I can get that to line up a little better so it looks better. There. Got it. Okay. This computer has an M2 slot and a SATA cable. There's no optical drive. It has an 8 gigabyte memory module and a decent cooling solution. Not the biggest I've seen, but not bad. And a decent battery, 42 watt hours. All right, I'm going to try an M2 drive. This is a crucial P2 250 gig NVMe SSD. I'm going to pop the bottom cover back on and tighten the screws that are in the hinges just to make sure it has enough support. What am I doing? I want to boot off of my... Uh... Well, it's doing a test anyway. <clears throat> but I want to boot off of... I want to boot off of mini, my mini tool partition wizard bootable media. Okay, I want to go to the BIOS. Uh, so one time boot menu, let's boot off of my cruiser blade. That's great. Okay, so Mini Tool Partition Wizard can see the built in hard drive, which has six partitions one, two, three, four, five, six, and some unallocated space. It can see the 250 gig uh, NVMe drive and then the USB thumb drive that we booted off of. So there are six partitions here 
on disk one, I'm going to right click and copy that disk and tell it the target will be disk two. And it looks like it copied all, but the there's a larger, there's a 10 gigabyte partition called image here. That didn't get copied, so I need to leave 10.7 gigabytes or more in here. So I'm going to shrink this one a little bit. So I'll shrink that by at least 10. That's good. And now I'll move this one down. And I'll move this one to the end. So now we've got that slot there. So I'll click OK on this, or click Next on this, and then OK. And finish. And now I'm going to right click on the missing partition, the image partition. Copy that and paste that onto drive or disk two into the unallocated space. And I'm going to shove it against the end of the unallocated space. That leaves room here. So now I just have to move this one over and resize this one. So I can click move resize on that one. And now I've got 1.8 gigabytes at the end of this system partition. So I'll move resize that one and just grab it and make sure it uses up all the available space. So that looks all right to me. It looks like it's going to be using about 40% of the disk space when we're done. So copy disk one to disk two, copy a partition from disk one, move and resize the partitions on disk two. That's right. So I'll apply that. Hopefully this should go fast enough. Although if there is an issue developing with that hard drive, it might go very slow. So time will tell. I'm going to pause the recording. I'll come back when it's done. Okay. The cloning finished and it looks right. So let's, let's see if we can finish this. So shut down. I'm going to take the hard drive out and see if the laptop will boot from the NVMe drive. This hard drive is held in with, it looks like, four screws. Might have to take the battery out, I'm not sure. There's a screw in here. Okay, didn't need to take the battery out. Now let's just see if this boots as is. Nope. Okay, so it won't boot. I'm going to go into the BIOS settings and see if we can figure out why not. So I turned off Secure Boot the last time around. I wasn't recording by mistake. But uh, everything else looks normal. So the RAID on drives, so M.2 PCIe is on. I'm going to say never. I don't want, we don't want to have to enter a password. Legacy option runs, Windows Boot Manager, let's view. System information. So it shows that there is an NVMe drive detected. M.2 PCIe SSD. Why won't you boot from it? All right, let's try to boot again. So I've added an M.2 option by browsing to the the NVMe drive. Let's see if that helps. 
I'm going to try to boot off of that. I doubt it's going to work, but we'll see. That was not the right file to boot from. Let's try this again. Boot sequence. I'm going to delete that boot option. Let's go back to the Windows Boot Manager. Can I delete that option? Yeah. Oh no. Oh well that didn't help. I'm going to restore the BIOS defaults. The factory settings. Oh dear. Okay, so I just reloaded the factory settings and it looks like it's going to boot off of this M2 drive. Yep. So it was that easy. All right, I'm just going to run Windows Update one more time and see if there are any updates pending. This is always the best time after an SSD upgrade. No, we're up to date. All right, so I'll shut down and I'll put the back cover back on and clean it up. And then once I do that, it'll be back to the customer. Thanks for watching.